On 4 April 2023, Finland's Blue Cross flag was hoisted at NATO headquarters, marking the nation's entry into the alliance. Finland's formal accession to NATO was the culmination of an 11-month membership path that was triggered following Russia's unprovoked war of aggression against Ukraine in February 2022. Now let's explore whether Finland's integration into NATO has bolstered the alliance or if it primarily serves as a security safeguard for the nation itself. In this video, we'll delve into the strength and capabilities of the Finnish army. So sit back, subscribe to our channel, and let's begin. Ranger Battalions The size of the Finnish army might not impress you, but it's essential to understand that Finland has a vast reserve of individuals who have served in the military and undergone periodic training in the reserves. Consequently, the army can quickly expand to 285,000 personnel within a matter of days. A distinctive feature of the Finnish army is its ranger battalions. These rangers are the elite and the primary striking force of the army, despite their relatively light armament. Due to the country's forested terrain, any invading force would be constrained to a few roads, and these ranger units can attack the enemy on the move, sabotage fuel and supply trucks, effectively cutting off the enemy's combat forces from essential resources required for war. In addition to standard equipment like armored jeeps, buggies, and ATVs for light infantry units, the Finnish Rangers have specialized vehicles such as all-terrain vehicles and snowmobiles. Given Finland's northern location, these are not just for show, but essential tools. Out of the 11 brigades in the Finnish Army, four are Ranger battalions, supplemented by separate Ranger units for special operations. Tanks and Artillery There is only one tank brigade equipped with modern Leopard 2A6 variants. These tanks feature enhanced anti-mine protection and an extended gun barrel to increase muzzle energy and armor-penetrating capabilities for sub-caliber armor-piercing rounds. A notable addition is the tank's information and control system, creating a unified electronic digital space that integrates data on tactical situations, the enemy, and the tank itself. There are 100 such tanks in active service and an equal number in storage although the stored ones are of the older A4 variant, which is somewhat outdated today. Nevertheless, these tanks are formidable, comparable in capabilities to the T-80BV T-92A or T-72B3. Their condition and how quickly they can be brought into combat readiness remain unknown, but it's safe to assume that the Finns wouldn't keep them in a decrepit state without engines. There are few self-propelled artillery units, but the Finnish Army operates 48 surplus K9 self-propelled howitzers from South Korea. These 155mm howitzers, in many respects, outperform NATO counterparts, with some types of active-reactive projectiles extending their range to 33 miles, surpassing the MSTAY-S and American M109A6 Paladin. They are complemented by 74 2S1 Gvozdika self-propelled howitzers, Ranger units are supported by towed Soviet heavy guns, 2A36 Gyatsent, and light howitzers D-30. There are no tactical or operational tactical missile complexes, but there is the American M270 platform. Although it's a multiple launch rocket system, it carries heavy, highly accurate missiles with cluster or high explosive warheads, AFOM. These missiles can be launched up to 50 miles, making them comparable, albeit loosely, to tactical missile complexes. The M270 also has launchers for operational tactical ADACMS missiles, capable of reaching up to 186 miles. Light Armored Vehicles The infantry's primary striking force relies on the renowned Swedish BMP CV-90. What sets these armored personnel carriers apart from the majority of APCs worldwide is their heavier armament. Depending on the variant, they are equipped with 35, 40, or 50 mm Bofors automatic cannons. But for the Finnish Army, 30 mm MK44 Bushmasters are installed, which can take on a wide range of threats. Starting in 2016, the CV-90s were equipped with the Iron Fist Active Protection System, capable of detecting and neutralizing incoming kinetic and shape charge projectiles before they hit the APC. It's worth noting the Finnish Patria AMV armored personnel carriers, 
gaining popularity worldwide as a more affordable alternative to the German Boxer. The Patria is a modular platform, allowing for varying levels of armor and different combat modules depending on the mission. This platform can be configured to be nearly as formidable as a wheeled tank. The Polish Rosomach BMPs are likely to compete with Patria on the market shortly. Patria combines anti-mine protection, an advanced fire suppression system and fire prevention capabilities, with the option to increase its weight from 17 to 27 tons, providing protection against 30mm autocannon fire from BMP-2 or BTR-82, in addition to 100 CV-90s and almost 100 Patria APCs there's also more common equipment, such as 110 BMP-2s, upgraded with thermal imagers and multi-spectral camouflage. A significant portion of the reservist infantry will be transported in older Patria vehicles, Sisu XA, with 630 units in service. Given that nearly half of the infantry in a country that relies heavily on Ranger tactics, they require a large number of mine-protected transport vehicles, light and heavy armored vehicles. Finland is just beginning to work with this kind of technology with acquisitions including South African MRAP PRG-42 scouts, and Patria is trying to develop something similar. Aviation and Air Defense The primary striking force of Finland's air power lies with the FAA-18C Hornet fighter bombers. In this version, the aircraft is equipped with upgraded onboard electronic equipment for using air-to-ground guided missiles, such as the AGM-65 Maverick. This versatile missile comes equipped with television, infrared, and laser guidance systems, making these aircraft well-suited for precision strikes in urban areas, including moving targets, a total of 54 F-18Cs are organized into three squadrons, and they are supported by light attack aircraft converted from British Mech 51 trainers. When it comes to air defense systems covering cities and critical strategic assets, Finland doesn't possess extensive long-range capabilities. In the 1990s, the primary air defense system was the Russian Buk M1. However, the Finns realized that in case of its deployment by an adversary, it would likely be the Russian Air Force, who are familiar with these systems and how to neutralize them. Therefore, the Finnish military swiftly transitioned to the Norwegian Nassams II air defense system. The Nassams II launcher carries six AIM-120 MRA missiles with a range of up to 37 miles and speeds reaching Mach 4. F-18s are also equipped with these missiles. The AN-MPQ-64 radar of the NASAMS-2 system can detect incoming threats within a radius of 46 miles, tracking targets moving at approximately 3 Mach at altitudes of up to 10 miles. These lightweight air defense missiles are mounted on mobile-wheeled platforms. Overall, the NASAMS-2 system provides reliable defense against most aircraft, cruise missiles, and operational tactical missiles. Although its relatively low missile weight, around 160 kg or 350 pounds, might limit its effectiveness in ensuring reliable target destruction. Moreover, the system can launch missiles without radar guidance using the Link 16 system. This military tactical data link with a high level of security is used by NATO and allows the system to conduct launches in passive mode without radar. This enhances camouflage and protection against enemy detection and jamming. That's all for today. Would you like an analysis of another country that has joined or is considering joining NATO? Please write in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. See you soon!